Politics is generally a rough and thankless occupation. Many people joke you can only spend 10 years at it because then you're burnt out. Well, Kevin Gallagher has been at it for 30 years and he's still enthused. He's played every role, election day chair, campaign manager, national co-chair of a leadership campaign, and he is still someone to listen to. Kevin Gallagher is a master of the art of political campaigning. Kevin, welcome. Good to be here. Uh, what separates, first of all, a good candidate from a bad candidate? Is it like being at the grade nine dance? You can tell who's going to be a good dancer, or do you need more information? Not always. Um, a lot of people look good on paper and turn out not to be great candidates at the end of the day. Um, it, it's not necessarily uh, education or, or life experience or, uh, or any number of those things that you would normally look for for a normal uh, job interview type uh, references. Um, the, uh, generally, I can tell you what makes a bad candidate because I've had a few of them, uh, and it's somebody who wants to run the show themselves. Hence the joke, you're just the candidate, or some candidates who are smart say, Absolutely. no, I'm just the candidate, and Absolutely. here's an idea. And the best candidates are the ones that say, I'm just the candidate, and they let their campaign managers run with it. They have to understand, especially if they're new, new to politics, that they, uh, they don't know how to run a campaign, and they don't know all the intricacies that have to happen, and they're simply too busy to do all the little bits and pieces that have to get done. Mm. Um, what about the calling of politics, or energy, or money, independence, any of those things resonate? A, a lot of things. Uh, I think the, uh, the calling of politics, I think, has changed over the last 10, 20, 30 years. Uh, it used to be that people who were very successful in life would, would come to politics as a way to, uh, to give back uh, to the country. Um, unfortunately, I think we've, we've lost some of that. Uh, over the years, partly because uh, the politicians themselves have fallen into such disrepute with the, uh, with the general public and uh, there's fewer and fewer people wanting to step up to the plate. Um, is, is that fair? Uh, should politics have the crummy reputation that it has? I, I mean, you know, it's always, sometimes it's deserved. Um, um, politicians are uh, always being accused of saying one thing and doing another and, uh, and it's a rare politician who's been able to, to come in with a plan and deliver everything uh, that, they, uh, that they said that they were going to do. Um, uh, you know, recent Ontario history, uh, my Kara, the Mykeris government set out a, a concrete plan and they checked them off one after the other to, to ensure that they could say to the voters in the next election that they did everything they said they were going to do. That was one of the few that I remember uh, where, where someone's actually done a checklist and tried to, tried to achieve uh, all of those goals. Let's say you pass vetting with you. Uh, what is the next step in getting uh, the nomination? Contested nomination fight? Quite often there is a contested nomination fight. Um, and that, uh, that requires signing up members. Uh, some people uh, believe that they can go to the nomination meeting and with some brilliant speech win over half the audience and have them all switch to their side. But it doesn't work that way. Generally, whoever sells the most memberships wins the nomination contest. Doesn't matter how good or bad your speech is, you have to pack that room with every single person you know in the riding that's coming to vote specifically for you. If you do that, you win. But you have to get those people out. They can't be dead people or they can't be lethargic. Absolutely, you've got to be able to get them to the meeting as well. And that takes another whole pile of, of organization for your election day. In my experience, generally only the best you, you have show up is half the people that you sign up. So you're signing up 1,500 people and 750 will show up and you better hope your 750 is enough to, to make up for somebody else's uh, smaller numbers.